Hey, good afternoon, everybody. All right, we got a new build going to be starting here pretty soon. The Prince Symbol Guitar. All right, just got the neck from Amazon, and we're good to go. Looks in good shape. Still deciding on the overall headstock design. There are a couple variations out there, and then I'm still deciding on the uh, which bridge I'm going to use, either a Strat style bridge. Or there's this uh, bridge I got from, uh, you know, we can always do this kind of bridge, the single uh, bridge. Or we can even do a stop and tailpiece type bridge. But looking at a single coil, probably chrome and definitely an EMG in the bridge with a volume and a tone, volume and a tone, and then a three-way selector switch. And I'm going to do the three-ply design. So, it'd be pretty cool. This is going to be awesome. So, I'm going to start this next week. Um, and I'm still deciding on the cloud guitar, whether I'm going to do a single neck configuration or double neck configuration. I'm actually leaning towards the double neck configuration because you see so many uh, online of the single neck version of the cloud guitar. And I never ever seen a double neck version. And a lot of people have commented, what's the point of two identical six string necks? Um, well, I, I generally, I would tune differently. You know, each neck would be a different tuning. Either an open tuning or half step lower or full step lower. Just have the option. And, you know, you never see that guitar with a double neck. But anyway, this is the uh, Prince Symbol guitar and it'd be killer and I'm gonna probably use chrome hardware and I'm gonna do the chrome uh, circle with the backing um, I might do a chrome pickup I'm not sure I might just do a black EMG pickup and a chrome single coil pickup with the color of the guitar is gonna be uh, metallic purple and the paint I ordered is pretty pretty awesome um, and of course uh, on the headstock the there's gonna be the chrome metal plate and then chrome hardware and then you know purple overall um, and I'm thinking about doing chrome or silver metallic silver inlays with the print symbol and we'll see but yeah this is gonna be a work in progress and I'm going to you know bevel out the the inserts here and then you know shape everything real nice so it's gonna be epic it's gonna be killer but um, yeah new project starting soon print symbol guitar can't wait for this uh, stay posted to this page and I will see you every step of the way and thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon hey everybody just a quick update all right the neck came ordered the neck for the uh, print symbol guitar and here it is from Amazon I usually order the next and then I'm gonna alter it of course and I made that hole this hole was made by delivery but I'm gonna get out of the box and then we'll be right back all right it's out of the box really wrapped in this foam type stuff I'm doing this one hand of course all right yeah, getting next is always kind of hit and miss. You never know if it's going to get damaged and shipping. Alright. Yeah, this one at least had some good padding on it. It's always good. Get you a little card there. And I'm going to shape this headstock, of course, to the shape that's required of that guitar. Hopefully all the frets are good. And... Mm -hmm. specifically with no fret markers on the top but fret markers on the side so that way if I want to put the print symbol on the frets I can do that and it looks like it arrived undamaged so far from what I see let's take a look it's like really kind of bad 
But yeah, it looks like it's in good shape. Phew! It's always, like I said, you never know. Sometimes there's dings, dings. But usually Amazon, I mean, if there wasn't, it's got uh, a balut, which is awesome. I love the heel joint like that. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be shaped, you know, uh, V, almost like V-shaped. And with the tears. And then I'll make the metal thrust rod cover in the shape of an arrow. It's going to be cool. I can't wait to get started on the body. Cutting out the body. I haven't done any of that yet. And I haven't even drawn it out yet. This is the first step getting the neck. And then I'll compare the sizes. But yeah, there's the neck real quick. And it looks pretty good. This is how the neck comes to me. And then I'll shape it. Alright, we'll see you soon. Hey, good morning. Plus, How's everybody today? today? Focus. Yeah. Time to cut out the uh, print simple guitar. And I'm going to cut it out. And then we're going to put it on wood. And we're going to do some wood today. Alright, we'll see you in Alright, got another update for you. Yeah, I got it cut out. Now we're going to go outside and we're going to measure three pieces of wood. And you know what? I think I've decided that I'm going to go with a strat style bridge. Being so it's such a smaller body like this, uh, this guitar is fairly small. Um, Prince was a small guy. Uh, I think that'd be better than the the wraparound or the stop and tailpiece version. And just without the trim, just the fixed uh, top load Strat style bridge. And still use the, the regular uh, headstock with the, uh, the Gibson style, uh, you know, neck and everything like that. All right, we'll see you when I get it traced out. See you in the next step. All right, the Prince Simple guitar is getting ready to be traced out onto a wood piece. I'm gonna go with three layers. I'm gonna go three layers. And uh, so this is the top layer. And then I've got my other piece of wood here and then I'll shape it. And there we go. All right, see you in the next step. How's everybody doing? All right, got the shape cut out. Looking cool. <laughs> uh, the symbol has taken shape. <laughs> yeah, that, is, that is something else. That's very unique. That's going to be a very cool instrument. <laughs> All right, turn it up at you real quick. Uh, get this cleaned up, and uh, I will see you on the next step. All right, going to cut the neck pocket. And this is how I checked where I want the neck to actually line up on the body of the guitar. And I chose not to make this body completely symmetrical. Um, I guess on the original guitar it's a perfect sphere. And I made it just a little bit oblong because I wanted just a little bit more girth on this side. So with the, with the buttons and the, uh, the selector switch. Um, I think on the original guitar it was completely symmetrical, circular. But I opted just for a little bit fatter and girthy on this end. And I think that it'll play better and it'll look cooler when it's hanging on the body. But that's just my personal stank I'm putting on it. But yeah. Alright, we'll see you on the next step. Alright, determine the final neck placement. And it's going to line up perfectly. And I can always adjust it later. But yeah, there's what I'm going to cut out. Alright, I'm going to separate the three layers and I'm going to cut out that pocket. Alright, see you in a minute. All right, Prince Simple Guitar update, okay. Uh, cut out the neck pocket on the top layer. But see, it's on the only three layers on this. I'm gonna actually, uh, instead of making a separate, because normally on, you know, the uh, the three pieces of wood, the top layer is thicker layer, but this uh, particular guitar, all layers are the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, with just that one uh, layer, the neck has a little bit rest too high, especially since I'm using a Strat uh, top loader type bridge without the tremble so what I'm gonna do is I already scored uh, with the drop with the uh, with the blade I scored and you can see how each one of these uh, plywood layers has three layers to each sheet um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the top sheet I'm gonna dremel the top sheet off and then uh, when I do the top sheet 
it's going to dremel that one and then it's going to fit right in there real good. So, uh, yeah, so and then I'm going to glue the top and the first and the second layer together after I do that. And then I'll do everything from that point. And then it'll just be a two, two sheet instead of a three sheet. So that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, so once I get that done, I'll catch up to you. Alright, got the neck pocket in, got the first two layers glued together, I got it screwed in temporarily of course, got the neck pocket set just right, and I'm going to do the customary, I'm going to put a beveled edge around the sides here, and then I'll catch up with you when I'm done using the Dremel bit, uh, like I did before, I've showed it in the previous uh, guitar build, so I'm going to put a, because right now it's real sharp, and I'm going to put it around there. And then real quick, uh, just to kind of give you a little information on what I plan on doing, I plan on uh, routing out uh, probably about, I don't know, about that far, about a centimeter or so, shape there, a shape there, and then cut in on the sides. And then I might put, there's like little symbols on the original guitar, and then I'll definitely have to route, I'm routing out the circle. And I might write out the, uh, the uh, pick, uh, pickup uh you know the custom shape pickup ring that he has on the single coil might route that out as well but right now we're just for the day and finish up for the day i'm gonna put a a nice edge you know round edge on the front and the back all right we'll see you in a bit all right done for the day getting pretty late sun's setting in the sky but uh, today's uh completion of work uh, went really well <laughs> looks killer. I can't wait to get this one in. Uh, I love these weird shaped guitars. They're just so awesome. Yep, tomorrow I'll uh, get to work on uh, recessing the three air, four areas, and then start planning where the neck and cutting out the, you know, all the usual stuff. Uh, I'll show you today's work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. Uh, this is one unique awesome guitar all right we will see you soon and uh we'll continue with it tomorrow all right i hope everybody's having a good night hey how's everybody doing all right so i want to catch up on the progress on the uh the princess symbol guitar had a little problem with the phone the battery was dead so i kind of couldn't take footage of the last few processes but i'll catch you up uh recessed uh you know the part like i said recessed here uh, shaped the uh, the curve there uh, created the recesses on the, the sidelines there if you could say that it's pretty cool uh, figured out exactly where the uh, the single coil uh, neck pickup is gonna go and then I set the bridge post and then I drew out the line for where the uh, uh, the uh, the bridge pickup is gonna go so what I got left to do, I've got my uh, scroll saw out there. I'm gonna make some holes right here, and then right here, and then I'm gonna cut the opening for the EMG pickup, uh, which is right there. I'm gonna cut the opening, um, and then I traced out on plastic, actually, the circle. Made the circle just a little hair wider. I'll have to show that to you. But then I'm gonna cut out the, uh, the glass material on the, uh, the scroll saw there, so. And we got a new dog. Hey! And uh, this is uh, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. She's still a little skittish. She's brand new. But anyway, uh, so that's what we're kind of busy doing with the dog here. This dog's like one of your uh, typical want to be next to you up to the dogs. And it's my mom's dog, but <laughs> the dog's gotten attached to me. So, all right, let me get that next step. I'm going to drill these two, these holes out, and then we're getting ready to cut out for the. Uh, for the both the uh, the pickups. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, got the pilot holes cut out for the pickups, and now I'm getting ready to cut these bad boys out and then get the pickets pickups lined up. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, got the bridge pickup cut out, and now I'm gonna switch over and I'm gonna cut out the neck pickup. All right, see you in a sec. All right, looking good. Got the uh, the pickups cut out. And it's working out good. All right, so now what I think I'll do is I will, hmm, I can route out the guitar 
yeah I can do all the routing first and then do the cosmetic things later like the uh, the mirror and then the metal pieces uh, I could well I got the, the band uh, the school saw here now so all right, I'll figure out what the next step is, but we'll see you when I when I figure out what I'm gonna do next. All right. All right, another quick update. I'm gonna go with the wiring. I'm gonna go here. Uh, I've got the volume knob, uh, the tone knob, uh, the three-way selector switch, the input jack, and uh, the connection from the uh, the single coil, and then from the uh, the bridge pickup. So we're gonna. That's that's what the wiring configuration is going to be pretty simple. So it's going to work pretty good. And then when I get the back through the back, I'm going to make a uh, access cover plate that looks kind of like a kidney bean on the back there. All right, we'll see you next step. I'm going to get these uh, board up. All right, quick update. Losing sunlight. So I'm going to be brief here. Uh, finishing up work, work to, for today. I got the, uh, the wiring complete. Let me show you that. All right, as you remember from earlier when I drew it out, I've got the connection for the single coil to the double coil to the volume knob to the tone, the three subway selector switch, and then the input jack. And then on the back side, I've still got a drill for extra, the extra girth for it to fit the, uh, the input jack. And this is the input jack I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with uh, the round with the uh, stereo input jack because it's an uh, active pickup. So I'm going to drill that out and then on the back, let me show you, I drilled out, marked out for where I'm going to put the recess cavity and here's the input jack hole on the bottom plate. I got to bore that out for the, uh, to make room for it. But then I drilled all the way through the three holes and now with the, uh, the scroll saw, I'm going to cut the access plate and then I'm going to figure out the, uh, you know, a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, the uh, the cover that goes over the top there. And then I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put the nine volt battery. Um, I could put it up here in line and it would look cool that way. I wanna put it where it doesn't affect the stability. Um, Cause uh, you see, this has already been bored out. And I considered filling, back filling this a little bit cause the, uh, the single coil isn't that thick to add stability from when the neck's in place but because I think I did the uh, the shallow neck and I didn't actually cut all the way through the second piece I think this is solid enough to where I don't have to worry about any kind of stability with the neck and the uh, the wood so let me cut that out and then I'll show you the results of that and then I'm going to countersink the uh, the back plate and but uh, I don't think I'll no I'm not I probably I don't know if I'll countersink it. I probably won't countersink it because not necessary because I'm not going to countersink the uh, the the plate for the neck, and I'm not going to countersink the uh, the uh, nine volt battery uh, compartment because this this guitar is already pretty shallow as it is. Remember I did the three ply and then I glued the top and the middle piece together, so now it's just the two pieces. But it's you know it's, it's relatively thin comparatively. But, uh, all right, we'll see you after that step. All right, how's everybody doing? Good evening. Sunday evening. Uh, I just want to show you real quick the final progress today on the Princess Simple guitar. It turned out really cool. Uh, as you can recall, I got the bridge posts, uh, cut out for the pickups, cleaned up the, uh, the circle a little bit. Tomorrow I'm going to be making the uh, mirror plate. And then the two plates for the pickups. And then uh, I finished routing also today. Let me show you the back side of that. Um, <laughs> it turned out pretty killer. Pretty cool route on this one. From the uh, single coil, double coil, then to the volume, the tone, uh, three way selector switch, the input jack, and the 9 volt battery compartment. I did finish that. Let me try to get that and show you that. Uh, on the other side too, I got the, uh, here let me try to do this with one hand. <laughs> Flip it over there. Yeah, there we go. Alright. And 
these are both pieces from the back. Once I make sure tomorrow that everything is good to go and all different compartments, I'll join these two pieces together. I'll glue them both together. And then we'll start the wood filler phase and then start going. I can't wait to get a little paint on this body. That's going to look so killer. But, uh, and I still might do the, uh, the circle thing on the back there. Because that's how it is on the original guitar. But I might not. I don't know. It all depends. But yeah, let me show you. And also tomorrow I'll make a, uh, access panel plate. Just a circular cover plate there and that'll be cool turned out pretty cool but I just want to show you today's progress and it is looking sweet on the princess symbol guitar but yeah I really like the uh, the bevel sections I think uh, once I get all this wood filler in there and everything's really smooth and perfect and the paint it's gonna, it's gonna look amazing but yeah that's my own variation but anyway Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next step. We'll see you soon. Hope everybody has a good night. Talk to you later. All right. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? All right. I traced out the uh, circle shape. I got me a template I made of the hole and match it up. And then I made the template out of plastic so that I could see through and copy, and I traced it over. And I've got to call like three attempts to get this right. So. <laughs> Uh, first attempt, wish me luck. I'm going to cut it out on the scroll saw. And then we'll see if it lines up and fits in the hole correctly. Alright, we'll see you in a minute. Alright, get everything cut out, or everything set up for the cutout. I'm going to cut out the mirror piece. And of course, this has that film on it. So, it, you know, it's a perfect mirror underneath. But once you peel back the, uh, the film, it's a mirror. So I got the shape, and we're going to cut it out. <laughs> Fingers crossed, wish me luck. Alright, we'll see you in a minute. All right, just another update. I got the mirror piece. I cut the mirror piece out and as you can see when you peel away that film It's complete mirror And I made it so it fits right in the hole So yeah, it's tight fit but it's there. Bingo right there Awesome, so now I'm gonna cut out the two post holes and then the pickup route and we'll see you in a minute All right, got the pickup on the back of the mirror piece uh, marked out. I'm gonna cut it out in the scroll saw. All right, wish me luck. All right, was successful. Hey, do. Uh, successful cut out of the pickup in the glass piece. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna have to cut out the two posts, and this is gonna be tricky. So uh, fingers crossed, everything goes well. All right, we'll see you in a minute. All right, how's everybody doing? This beautiful sunny day in Florida, clear skies. Yeah. Got the uh, the mirror piece cut out and it fits perfectly. And like I had mentioned before, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I uh, made the holes big enough so when I put the posts in there, they go past and they don't actually rest on the, the mirror surface itself. It rests on the wood below. See how it's, uh, they're not resting. You see that? That way it doesn't put any pressure on the mirror surface and there's no chance of it ever cracking. So yeah, that'll be cool. So yeah, when I put the posts in, the posts go all the way through the piece. And you can actually lift the piece out over it. So that way there's, like I said, there's no pressure pushing downward and can crack this material. So alright, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the metal out. And I'm going to trace out the... See if I have it. I think it's here we go. Trace out the two pieces uh, for metal. It's going to be that piece that holds this. And I'm going to alter this uh, top one a little bit and make it a little bit girthier, a little bit fatter. Because the way the pickup route worked out, it made it just a little bit thicker. But yeah, I'm going to cut these out of metal. Uh, the metal pieces. And then have the pickup ring. These are going to be pickup rings out of the metal. And that'll be the next step. All right, wish me luck on that. I'll I'll show you the next step. All right, tracing out the uh, the bridge pickup ring out of this metal. Here's the metal material, certain thickness, and I already traced it out. And I'm gonna cut it on the scroll saw. And I'll see you in a minute. All right, we are successful in cutting out the metal piece for the uh, 
you pick up a ring which is pretty cool i'll show more inside when i get done with everything today but that's basically how it's gonna set and uh you know the screws with the uh and then these screws will go all the way through the wood so and that'll be what's holding it there and i recut the uh i reshaped the uh the single coil pickup the uh, pickup pickup ring i'm sorry i'm having pickup ring there so uh it's a little bit more girthy because uh you know i had to widen that so that's gonna be there and then i'll cut that out now in the metal and i'll see you in a sec all right got the face got the shape transferred over all right let me cut it out we'll see in a bit all right quick update we're successful in creating the pickup rings today got the pickup ring for the bridge turned out pretty cool and that'll be sweet and then the pickup ring for the single coil of the neck pickup pretty cool it's got the uh the material scratch material too and when you take that off it'll be super shiny but yeah uh pretty good progress so far uh i guess the next thing to do uh I guess we can glue these suckers together, glue the, you know, clean up all the mess I've made here, and then uh, start to glue and check, make sure everything's good to go, and then start gluing these pieces together. All right, we'll see you in the next step. All right, now I'm gonna make the back plate cover. And you know, I was thinking about it. Um, I did trace it out here on the paper. You know, I think I might actually countersink this. I wasn't gonna countersink it originally. But I think to countersink it, it would actually reduce the uh, the need for screws. And I could just have screws at either end instead of having to put, like, you know, a screw on the side. Because if it was not, it was just flush on top and it wasn't countersinking to the wood, I would need more screws. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And it's not going to really affect anything. It's just, it'll actually add a touch to it. And I think I will do the, uh, the curly Q uh, indent in the back as well. All right, we'll see you on the next step. I'm gonna cut this out out of some single ply black wood and trace it over. All right, see you in a second. All right, got the shape traced out on the one ply material. And I'm gonna cut this out and I'll see you in a second. All right, got the shape cut out. <laughs> Looks pretty good. And I traced out where I'm going to countersink. So I'm going to take a razor blade, score it out, and then uh, dremel this part out and then countersink it. And then after I finish with that, I'm going to check all the insides and everything like that. And then we'll get ready for the glue phase. We're going to glue these two pieces together and make it one solid piece. Can't wait for that. All right, see you in a sec. All right, countersink is complete. And it's looking good. It's right in there like that. All right, and then I uh, beveled out the... Uh, I'll sand it more, and when I get the wood filler, I'll make it more contoured and everything like that. But that's the basic shape of the back one. All right, let's uh, get everything cleaned up and let's glue these two pieces together. All right, we'll see it next up. All righty, we're at the glue phase. Everything's good to go. So I'm going to lay down some glue on the upper side and attach it to the bottom. And we'll see you at the next step. All right, this is a good part. All right, we're all glued, we're all glued up, ready to join them together. All right, the glue phase. Sucker should be uh, <laughs> got some weight on there. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, how's everybody doing? Successful glue phase. We are one solid piece. <laughs> it is awesome. Uh, check that out. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it when it looks like that. It's all wood. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. And, you know, it weighs enough to where I don't think there'll be any neck dive, hopefully. But it's not super heavy at all. I'm guessing maybe seven, eh, maybe not even that much. Uh, yeah, seven pounds, maybe. But yeah. All right, so the next step, I'm going to get some uh, body filler. And I'm going to go along the sides and fill in all the cracks and any major spots like maybe there fill in with wood filler all the way around and then perfect the sanding and fill in all the holes of course and then we are ready for the ugly phase for the uh, wood filler phase but yeah it's turned out pretty cool and I'm pleased I'm happy it looks cool uh, 
when this is paint, you know, when I got the wood filler and all this filled in and it's uh, the gloss uh, metallic purple, it's gonna look sweet. But yeah, and having that bridge the way it is, I, you know, it's gonna be awesome. All right, we'll see you next step. I'm gonna get the, uh, the body filler and start filling all the, the voids. But we'll see you in a little bit. All right, how's everybody doing? Good afternoon. Oh, it's about four. 4.30 or so. I've uh, been at it since about 9 this morning. Got a lot done. I just want to go over everything that I got done so far today. Uh, pretty much body is intact. Uh, <laughs> it's looking pretty killer. I made all the uh, all the parts today, which is pretty cool. Uh, the metal pieces and everything, which, yeah, it's going to look really killer when it's done. Yeah, that's the film over there, so, the, you know, all these are really shiny and bright it's just the film and then the back uh cover plate and it looks pretty cool i just finished all the uh filling in with all the body filler on the uh you know the sides um next we're gonna install the neck um and then do the wood filler stage the ugly stage like i like to call it uh yeah it's looking really cool this is a really cool shaped guitar. Uh, just wanted to show you all the wood filler. Made everything really nice and filled it in. Yeah. It's going to be a very cool guitar when it's done. Let me show you. Whew, I'm tired. It's been a long day. <laughs> All right, and we will see everybody tomorrow. Uh, start fresh uh, early in the morning. Or when, you know, get up and get moving around. And like I said, what we're going to do is uh, install the neck. Get the neck, uh, get the neck pocket just perfect. And get everything lined up. And start the wood phase. And then we'll take it from there. All right, thanks for following along today, and we will see all y'all really soon. Have a good one. All right, just dry testing all the parts where they're going to go. <laughs> it looks cool. I got to put two screw holes in this particular ring right there, but that's how it's going to look. Everything's lined up. Uh, next step is to screw in the neck, and then once I get that perfect in the pocket... I already did the string test and it's it's everything's good. So uh, everything's lined up perfectly as far as the neck orientation and the angle of the neck, and it's perfect as far as the height and everything. And it's got plenty of room for adjustment up and down, if need be. And then worst case, I could always shim the neck because the neck is so far up in the pocket that you would never see it. But I don't think I do. I think it's perfectly set the way it is. I just have to drill out the four screws. And then get that would be good to go. Then I'll do the wood filler. Then it will be the ugly phase. And then while that's drying, I'll shape the neck. Or shape the headstock to the shape there. And then i got to cut out the metal uh, truss rod cover plate for that after I shape it. And then I'm going to take some uh, body filler. And I'm going to shape the top horn on a bevel that way. And then a bevel that way. Just like the original guitar. It's going to be really cool. And then we'll, we'll take it from there. Next step. All right, we'll see you on the next step.